When I say all roads lead to Jesus Christ, all roads lead to Jesus Christ. That means if you're a sinner, you're going to stand before the Lord and his life is going to be in your hands. If you saved, when you stand in front of the Lord, his life is going to be in your hands. It don't matter if you're a Muslim. It don't matter if you're a Catholic. It don't matter if you're a Jehovah Witness. It doesn't matter if you're an atheist. It doesn't matter if you worship Buddha. All roads lead to Jesus Christ. You're going to have to stand in front of Jesus Christ and you're going to have to show an accountant for what you did. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, you will not enter into the kingdom of God because he is Lord. He died for you. There's no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You can't enter into the kingdom of God without Jesus Christ. So I wanted to clarify that with you. I wanted to straighten that out with you. Because a lot of people might think, what, what is Brother Mike talking about? Everybody going to get saved? Is everybody going to the kingdom of God? Is Muslims going there? Is the only way you can enter into the kingdom is by Jesus Christ. You can't enter into heaven by him. You can't enter into heaven unless you got him. He's the only way. And that's why I said all roads lead to Jesus Christ. You can go your whole life and don't worship him. You still gonna stand before him. You can be a thousand years old, 2000 years old, it don't matter. Whenever your number is called, you're gonna stand in front of Jesus Christ. We all are. Your mother ain't gonna be able to stand in front of him for you. Your father, your sister may be saved. And you. some of you guys gonna say, well, my mother was saved, Lord. That don't mean you was. Some people going to stand in front of Jesus Christ and their wife and their husbands been telling them to accept Jesus Christ. He coming. And people don't want to listen because they don't believe that Jesus Christ is coming. People don't believe until he cracked that sky and millions of shit happen. This world is going to change. It's going to change. And I'm telling you right now, get Jesus Christ. Sir. We don't know how much time we got. You may think you got a month. You may think you got a year. You may think you got five years or 10 years. That people might say Jesus Christ is coming back 2030. Some people say it ain't gonna be in our lifetime. But the, the fact of the matter is, 1 Corinthians 52 says in a matter of a twinkling of an eye, you don't know when Jesus Christ is coming. You see? And that's the scary part. We don't know when he coming. He might come tonight. He might come tomorrow night. He might come a year from now. He might come a month from now. The point is we don't know, but you better be ready when he do come. That's the point. That's what I want to tell y'all tonight. You better be ready when he comes. You can play games all you want to, but the fact of the matter is Jesus is Lord and he's real. He lived a real life. You see, that's why all the 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 historians believe it the roman catholic historians say jesus christ died on the cross the pagan historians said jesus christ died on the cross the the christian authorities said jesus christ died on the cross why did they all say it why did they all say it because over 2000 years ago jesus showed himself to over 500 people at one time they seen him go up in the clouds and two angels in white apparel said, why ye glaze up at this Jesus Christ? Don't you know he's going to come back in the same like manner? You see, he left in the clouds and he's going to gather us in the clouds and he's going to come back in the second coming in the clouds. You see, that's what God is going to do in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. You, you laying in the bed with somebody, how fast you think you can repent? in the twinkling of an eye. You watching porn, Jesus come back and you clicking on the video. How fast you think a twinkling of an eye is, you see? We gotta stop letting Satan beat us up. We gotta take the authority who we are in Christ Jesus. We are, we are royal priesthood. We are royalty because our father is a king. And if our father is a king, what does that make you? We are joint heirs to the throne of God. You see, enough of Satan. Stop on his face. Say enough. I'm going in the rapture. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what we got to do. We got to stop beating Satan up. You see, enough is enough. The rapture is about to take place. The rapture is about to take place. The rapture is about to take place. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming. 
at a time you think not. You see, don't let nobody tell you, oh, the Lord is coming back a year from now. Our Lord is coming. He can come back five years from now. We don't know when Jesus Christ can come back, but he's going to come back like a thief in the night. You got to be ready. There's nothing in the Bible that says Jesus Christ is going to come back 10 years or not from now. There's nothing in the Bible that says Jesus Christ is going to come back 30 years from now. There's nothing in the Bible that says Jesus Christ is going to come back a month from now. There's nothing in the Bible that says Jesus Christ is going to come back a week, a week from now. But Jesus Christ himself said, watch therefore, for you know not when the Son of Man is going to come. That's what my Bible says. And I'm going to believe the Bible, you see. In the last days, people are going to draw, draw away from God. They're going to draw away from Him. They're not going to hold on to sound doctrine. That's what the Bible says. See, Paul warned us. Peter warned us of his days. And it's scary when you run away from God. It's scary when you don't hold on to the faith and you don't read your word. It's scary when you just click on a YouTube video and they say it ain't no rapture. Jesus ain't coming back. We're going to have to go through the tribulation. What does the word of God say? God said he's coming for us. He revealed it to Paul. You see, I love you guys. And I'm going to continue to leave these videos because I love you guys. And that's the calling that's on my life. I don't want to stand in front of God and say, why you didn't warn my people? I anointed you, Michael. Why you didn't warn my people? You see, I got to warn you guys. Some of you guys may think it's a broken record, but I'm going to keep warning you because your blood ain't going to be on my hands. You keep on out here having sex. You keep on doing the things that ain't of God. You see, I've been warning you and warning you and warning you. But see, one day you're going to look up and it's not going to be any more videos from Brother Mike, man of God. I don't know when God's going to take me home. You see, I don't know when the rapture is going to happen. But I want to see you. We're going to live forever, y'all. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I feel like crying right now because some of you guys don't understand the urgency of Jesus Christ. Y'all just don't understand it. And I don't know how much time we got left. I don't know how much time we got left. I really don't. But I'm just hoping that y'all ready. And it ain't me talking to you right now. God loves you. He don't want you to perish. It's not his will that anyone perish, y'all. 